Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Ray, and today we're going to be talking about the physics of music. So, what is sound? There's a word I want, it starts with a V. That's right, sound is vibration. So anything that makes sound has to have something that vibrates. So think about some things you, uh, you know of, some instruments that make sound, um, like a saxophone. How does a saxophone make sound? What vibrates on a saxophone? That's right, it's the reed. So the reed is this thin little piece. A reed is this little wooden thing on the tip of a saxophone and a clarinet and it's just a really thin piece of wood. If you can see there, when it attaches to the mouthpiece and you blow through it, it makes the reed vibrate up and down. And that vibration is what makes the noise. So like I said, sound is a wave, but it doesn't just go up and down like ocean waves or some kind of waves we know, like electrical waves. It's a three-dimensional wave, so it's more like it's pulsing. Every word I say is a three-dimensional ball of sound that keeps expanding and expanding until it reaches your ears and it vibrates the air around your ears and then it vibrates your eardrum. And then the auditory nerves connected to your ears go into your brain and your brain processes the sound. The same thing happens when you play a saxophone. It vibrates out the tube and then it vibrates the air around it and that vibration gets bigger and bigger until it hits your ears and it vibrates your eardrums. So this is actually the same thing that happens with a speaker and a microphone. You're listening to this video right now on a device, a phone, tablet, computer, and it's got little speakers inside of it, unless you have it plugged in to bigger speakers, and they have this membrane that vibrates, causes the air to vibrate, and then your ears pick up the sound. The opposite happens with a microphone when you talk. By the way, what vibrates to make our voice? That's right, it's our vocal cords. So our vocal cords vibrate, and they cause the air in our mouth and out our mouth to vibrate and expand, and then they go into a microphone, which has a membrane that vibrates, and then it's got wires like a magnet to gather that vibration, and then wires that go to an audio console or an amplifier to help turn it up. It's kind of like the auditory nerve going to the brain to process the sound. Now check out this video on the YouTube channel Crash Course about more in-depth physics of sound. Thanks for watching, y'all go practice.